My son and I have been working on some projects using solar and batteries with these little computers and, and other things that uh, need a steady supply of power. And these little boards are how it's done these days. Uh, in the old days, we used to use like the LM317, and that's still a very excellent uh, product. It uh, is more weatherproof than these are. So if I need something that's tough and I got a little extra power, this is the kind of thing I go for. But if I need high efficiency, uh, these buck converters, as they're called, are the way to go. And this is our setup over here. This is the uh, input voltage will be given to it. And this is the output voltage. They come in different types. This particular one is uh, both an up and down converter, which means that you can start at a low voltage. And you notice it's settable right here. I can set the output voltage, and I've got it set for a little bit over 5 volts and I can put in anywhere from uh, 3.8 volts up to uh, what is it I think it's 12 volts on this one and it'll produce a steady 5 point roughly 5 volts on the outside on the output of it this one is a fixed uh, has a fixed output and it will uh, it's a down converter so you have to start out with more power the difference between that and say this is it's just a whole lot more efficient these are in the 90 percentile type efficiencies so yeah, you put in uh, like somewhere between 12 and 6 volts and out will come 5 volts. This is similar to this, however, notice it's got two adjustments on it. This is very nice because you can adjust both the voltage and current. This you can only adjust the voltage. And this is pretty much a twin of this. It's just got uh, you know, a little bit different uh, voltage range. Okay, so uh, let's uh, turn on the power and make this work. Let's crank our demo. Turn on the power supply, and again, here is the input voltage, and here's the output voltage, and we've got this one connected. And as you can see, uh, when I get up about 3.8 volts, it will stabilize at about 5.5, 5.6. I've got this motor on here. You're hearing it humming in the background. It's probably a little annoying, but I need a load on this. Uh, otherwise, the output is not stable. In fact, if you just try to use the digital voltmeter to measure the output and there's no other load, the load is so small that, that this can vary. I've seen it jump up to like 30 volts on the output, which is not good for stuff. So you have to have something on there. Uh, but, okay, so you can see over here the input's 3.7, the output's 5, and then I'm going to keep cranking it up. So this one starts, uh, this will produce a stable output when the voltage is lower, when the input voltage is lower. And I'm going to just keep going up, and I think the maximum on this is a 12 volt input. I won't quite go that high. But you can see that even though uh, I'm getting up there, 9 volts, 10 volts, 11 volts, uh, and almost uh, 12 volts, my output is staying remarkably stable at uh, around 5.6. So that's what these little things do, and they don't get warm. I mean, you can touch them. Uh, they stay... Uh, nice and uh, cool relative because they're extremely extremely efficient um, I won't demonstrate all these because again they basically do the same thing this one just requires something that's over the output voltage so this has 5 volt out so that means the input is somewhere between 6 and 12 uh, this one again is similar to this except again the, the uh, current and voltage are adjustable which is very nice and yeah the repeat of that one so yeah, these uh, buck converters are extremely nice for uh, applications where you need a very, very steady output voltage. So computer stuff, um, uh, even running a small pump like this, but where you want to steady a voltage. And again, we use it a lot with uh, batteries because batteries, you know, lithium batteries are in the 3.7 range. Solar panels, you know, they're all over the map. A uh, 5 volt solar panel can run 7 to 9 volts. A 12 volt solar panel can run oh, up to almost 20 volts, things like that. And most things just won't handle the voltage, uh, the, the voltage uh, variance like that. So, one of these things, uh, very nice, very efficient. Uh, and yeah, uh, so that's it for uh, our little experiment here. Hope you found it useful and interesting in your home electronics experimentation.